Hello everyone, it's me Preena Mabel, Assistant Professor, Department of English in Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, Chichangur. Today we are going to learn some topics in linguistics and phonetics. The first topic is lang language and parole. The discussion of language and parole was first suggested by Ferdinand de Saussure and popularized in his work named Course de Linguistic General. According to Ferdinand de Saussure, lang is the grand structure that is complete and independent. Parole is always dependent on lang. The next topic is competence versus performance. The term competence was first introduced by R. W. White in 1959. Competence is a combination of cognitive skills, practical and theoretical knowledge, behavior and values used to improve performance. Performance uh, is the actual realization of an action or the manner in which mechanisms functions when employed in a certain task. The nature of linguistic sign. According to Ferdinand de Saussure, a linguistic sign is not a link between a, a thing and a name, but uh, between a concept and a sound pattern. Saussure divides sign into two parts that is signified and signifier. The next topic is uh, syntagmatic and paradigmatic uh, relationship. So, syntagmatic relationship are uh, those between elements that occur in a sequence such as words in a sentence. Paradigmatic relationship are those between elements that can substitute for each other such as different forms of a word. For example, walk, walks, walked, walking, etc. The next topic is substance and form. In linguistics, the term substance and form refer to the two basic components of language. The substance of your language is its vocabulary, which consists of the words and phrases that make up its, uh, its sentences. The form of a language is its grammar, which consists of the rules that govern how those words and phrases are put together. The next topic is diachronic and synchronic approaches. Synchrony and diachrony are two complementary viewpoints in linguistic analysis. A synchronic approach considers a language at a moment in time without taking its history into account. The diachronic approach by contrast studies uh, language change by comparing the different stages. IC grammar. So IC analysis is also known as immediate constituent analysis. In linguistics, it is a method of grammatical analysis that divides sentences into sequential levels or elements. Until the final level, uh, each element consisting of only one word or a meaningful part of the word. So that uh, next topic is TG grammar. In uh, 1950s, uh, Noam Chomsky introduced TG grammar. Uh, it is also called as transformational generative grammar. So TG is uh, the set theory of grammar which holds that a sentence typically has more than one level of structure. So the next topic is speech mechanism and organs of speech. The field of phonetics studies the sounds of human speech. Uh, there are three mechanisms involved in producing speech. The first is energy comes from the air supplied by the lungs. The second is the vocal folds produce sound at the larynx. The third is the sound is then filtered or shaped by the articula articulators. So it can be easily defined as respiration at the lungs 
phonation at the larynx and articulation in the mouth mouth so the next topic is classification of vowel sounds so vowels are voice sounds produced with a uh, structure of open approximation without any obstruction either partial or complete in the air passage all vowels are normally voiced we all know that vowels are a e i o u so the final topic is classification of consonants consonants play a significant role in both spelling and pronunciation as well as writing where sound is important these sounds involve a partial or complete closure of your uh, vowel tract most letters of english alphabets except vowels are consonants so i hope this video finds useful for you all thank you for watching